Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant with my first baby. So we are having a little girl and she's due on March 13th, 2022. If you're watching this in a different year. That is when she was due. So I am going to obviously be doing a what's my hospital bag video. You guys have been requesting this video so much. So my biggest tip is what I did was around 30 weeks. I started creating a list on my phone just in my notes pad of everything that I wanted to bring to the hospital. So I gave myself time to order things and then also I have a list of what I want to bring for me. A list of like miscellaneous things that Colin and I both kind of need to bring and then what I want to bring for baby girl. So it's just a long list of all the things. So that way you give yourself plenty of time to get things ordered and you're not feeling rushed because I feel like this is something you should be really prepared for. I said it is my first time having a baby. So I think in my opinion, I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. So one could think I might have overpacked or you could think that I packed enough or that I didn't pack enough. I don't know. You're going to have to comment below and tell me what your essentials were in the hospital and if I'm missing anything and if I have time before um, she comes and this video is posted to read the comments and pick up any last minute things and then I will. If not, she could come literally any day. So yeah, might as well get this video filmed just in case she does come at any day. I don't have this packed yet because this is going to be full of like toiletries and like makeup things like that. This is my base weekender bag. I'll have this and my roller bag linked down below. They're both from base, but I am going to be bringing this. I just need to pack all the things in it. At the moment, it's not packed because I still use my makeup and my hair tools and things like that, but those will go in there as well as like anything else miscellaneous that I want to throw in last minute or that doesn't fit into this roller bag at the moment. I'm also bringing my own pillow. You know, you gotta have a silk pillowcase and I love my silk pillowcase and I want to be comfy and I've heard to bring your own pillow. So I'm bringing that and then I'm also bringing a nursing pillow. So this is from Snuggle Me Organic. So that way when I um, breastfeed her for the first time, I have this. I've heard that it's really beneficial to have in the hospital with you. So I am bringing this and it's not bulky at all. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to bring my pregnancy pillow with me or not. And I think I'm that I'm not going to because that would just be a lot to bring <laughs> into the hospital with me. So I think I'm going to leave that at home but I am bringing my nursing pillow and then the rest of the stuff is just in this little carry-on roller suitcase from base I'm just gonna open her up start with okay so something that I do have in here which I cannot show you because I put her name on <laughs> the birth plan is my birth plan um, but I just made this little template I guess I'll just cover where her name is I made this template on Canva and I just made it myself but um, basically it's just like labor preferences and my birth preferences and if there must be a c-section and any notes and then like after delivery like skin to skin right away summarize it for you basically I want to get an epidural and I want to have a healthy baby however it has to happen I'm really going in open-minded like my birth plan isn't that intricate at all I'm open to like all the things possible to have a healthy delivery and a healthy baby and make sure that her and I are both good so yeah that kind of just summarizes it and the main reason I wanted to make one was in case I do need to have a c-section to just like clarify that I want to have a clear drape and if she can't come to me right away and if like I would like to be conscious through it if for some reason I'm not I want her to do skin to skin with Colin immediately um and just do like the like Basically, all the delayed cord clamping and stuff like that is standard at my hospital anyway. So there wasn't really much I needed to mention. It's just like, just in case. I don't even know if I'm going to like hand that to them, but I just like to be prepared. So just go through toiletries. I'm going to bring my contacts and my glasses, which I need those at the moment. So they're in the bathroom. I got the cutest bags ever off of Amazon. So this one just says wash bag and so does this one. Um, I will have them linked below on my Amazon storefront under my hospital bag highlight in case you want to go reference that. Um, but just some miscellaneous things that I have in here right now that I'm not using at the moment, like travel size things that I've got. I've got a travel size deodorant. I have a bar of soap for when Colin and I um, need it in the shower. Travel size toothpaste. Aquaphor because my lips get so chapped. Um, waterproof mascara is already in here. I don't wear waterproof mascara on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why it's not in my makeup bag, but I got it for delivery, assuming I'm probably going to cry. So, I mean, naturally. Um, I just have that in there, so I don't forget it. 
makeup remover wipes, Q-tips. Um, I got this clear bottle from Target and I'm going to put my face wash in there or I did put my face wash in there so I just could bring a little bit. Um, I've got two travel toothbrushes from Target for me and Colin. Got silk scrunchies to put my hair up with. And I have little travel size versions of the Gisu shampoo and conditioner, which is amazing because I'm assuming I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to want to shower after I have her. So yeah, that pretty much summarizes everything in this toiletry bag. I will obviously be adding the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. In this bag, I have my postpartum recovery things. So just to keep it all organized. I've got some pads. I do know that the hospital provides you with a lot, so I will use what they have before I ever use any of my stuff. I'm just bringing this just in case, so I feel like confident and prepared. I have some breast pads for um, if my milk comes in and stuff and things start to leak or if I'm on the way home from the hospital for that to um, collect all this stuff. I have some dermaplast. I know that I'm gonna get this at the hospital just in case I'm bringing it because holy grail. I have some herbal perineal spray nipple butter and also my peri bottle so i've heard from everybody and their mother that the hospital bottle that you get for after you have the baby when you're going to the bathroom is terrible and you should get the freedom mom peri bottle so here this is i'm bringing it with me in its cute little case and she is coming with other than that i'm pretty much using everything that the hospital has so i'm just relying on them to take care of me and if they were going to charge me for all that stuff anyway might as well use their things first and i know that if you have anything left over like diapers anything to grab it bring it all home because they're going to charge you for it anyway don't worry i know another thing that i'm bringing is a water bottle the stanley like 40 ounce cups are restocking tomorrow. So my plan is to get one and if it comes in in time before baby girl comes, great. If not, I'm gonna bring my Yeti, but I'm definitely bringing a big water bottle because I am thirsty all the time. Okay, I'm also bringing these Freedom Mom disposable brief boy shorts in case I just do not like the ones that the hospital has. I plan on never opening these and only using these at home. It is just a preventative measure. I want to be comfortable and these look super comfy. So I'm just bringing them just in case and if I don't use them and if I don't open them, that's totally okay with me. Also bringing this really cute muslin robe that I got on Amazon actually. And essentially my idea behind this is one, it'll be easy to wear while I'm breastfeeding. And then two, um, for pictures, it's cute, so I don't have to, like, I can just wear this um, and, like, family pictures of us three. And that way I'm comfortable, but also it'll be easy to nurse. And also it was not very expensive from Amazon, and it's really, really good quality. So I'm really happy that I got this. And my plan is to be wearing this in the picture, like, that I first post of us, but we'll see. I have like plans, but I also have no plans because I know that things are probably just not going to go as planned. So next thing I'm bringing is three pairs of these high-waisted underwear that I also got from Amazon. And I saw a couple women on TikTok actually rave about these and that it just really helps suck everything in after. And also when you're wearing the whole pad situation, um, this is good just to keep it locked in, loaded, you know, keep everything in one spot. So I did pack three of those just in case I end up bleeding through any of them I have three I'm really not planning to spend a lot of time in the hospital but at the same time you really don't know how many days you'll be in the hospital for so I'm just trying to make sure I'm prepared worst case scenario the hospital is only 30 minutes away from our place so my mom could always run and get me more things if I needed it but I'm hoping I don't I'm also bringing this nightgown from Target it's from the stars above brand I already have one in a gray color and so I got this in black just for nursing purposes and leaking and I honestly everything that I'm bringing is black except for that um, robe but yeah it's just a comfy little outfit I'll probably change into this right after I have her and just stay in this the whole time because it's so comfy and then I'm also bringing a nursing bra I think I might end up um, going and running out and getting a few more because right now I only have one but I had one coming in the mail but I don't think it's gonna come um, in time because it got shipped to my other apartment and someone stole the package so uh anyway yeah bringing a nursing bra for sure probably gonna go get one more just in case to have and then probably order like a whole pack on amazon and then i also have my going home outfit so i have a pair of super big oversized black sweatpants from the same stars above brand from target just to be comfy in i'm assuming i'll have a whole pad 
on going home and all the things so something that's just comfy and then also a very very large black sweatshirt this is from the men's section at Target but that way I got an extra large so it's big and it covers my bum and my whole body essentially so that way I'm really comfortable <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna be wearing when I go home is just this nice black sweat set also packing two portable fans one for me one for Colin and then while I'm actually in labor giving birth pushing we can move his fan over to my side so essentially he just has one for when he's asleep at night um, just because we like fans and I want him to be comfortable and get a good night's sleep too so I got fans and then a part with also speaking of the good night's sleep I'm bringing some silk little face masks so I have one from Blissey and then I have another one for him from Brooklinen but yeah just little sleep masks because I know the nurses come in and out turn on the lights do all the things so um, just to have these I think it'll be very very handy so I'm bringing a haka I know there's a chance that my milk might not even come in until I get home but there's also a chance that it does come in so just to be on the safe side I am bringing this with me so bringing a blanket for me and a blanket for Colin which is supposed to deliver today so I will just put in a clip of that it's just from Target and then I'm also bringing our own towels I had a friend deliver at the same hospital that I'm delivering at and she was like bring your own towel because you're really gonna want it so I'm bringing um, towels for me and Colin to shower in which will probably also go in the weekender bag that I have and showed you guys originally but I'm bringing shoes for the shower because I'm not stepping in the shower these are a little bit big on me Colin's feet can fit in them we're just gonna share but I literally ended the vlog and I'm now inserting this in because I have to tell you guys that I am bringing shower shoes I'm also going to bring like a room refresh spray to make it smell good in there, set the vibes, and also a speaker. My mom has the speaker. Like I said, she's going to be in the hospital room with us, so she's bringing a speaker. That way we can have music playing, just all the good vibes. All the chill vibes is essentially what we're going for. And then like I said, I'll pack my makeup, like maybe my hair curler or something. Um, I'm also going to pack my camera. We are planning on filming a birth vlog, camera batteries, and then the phone charger. Um, Colin's probably going to bring his computer for us to watch stuff on. We are bringing a portable sound machine for when we have the baby, like in the middle of the night. And then also lots of um, 10 foot chargers. And then one of these is the charger for the sound machine. So yeah, I've heard 10 foot chargers are in fact a lifesaver. So we are bringing all those with us as well. And then also in one of the side pockets, I just wanted to include this because we are bringing it, but it, this is the baby's nameplate. So her name is on the back of this. And then this one just says, hello world. But I am bringing these because pictures. And then moving into what I'm bringing for baby. So I'm bringing this white muslin baby blanket. Again, this is going to be on my Amazon storefront. I also just ordered another one in a tan color because I'm obsessed with this blanket. It is so soft, so inexpensive. It's like $15 or $16. I can't remember. But it's so good and it's pretty big. So I'm bringing a white one. This little swaddle blanket. I'm bringing an electric nail file set in case she's got long nails when she comes out um i don't want her to scratch her face so i want to make sure i have this just in case we need to file her fingernails down so she's not scratching her face or anything bringing this little pacifier holder that i have from mushy and some of these um frig pacifiers with me um hold on i'll get it just a little pacifier and then i have there's another one in here i don't know if you can see it but these are the cutest pacifiers ever so bringing those also bringing these little booties in case I want to take a picture um, and then they match this cute little hat these are from Old Navy so I'm bringing these this is the outfit that I'm planning on taking her picture in but we'll see it's from Zara um, it's just a little zero to one month baby outfit but also who knows how big she's gonna be so um, I'm bringing lots of options just in case but that is in fact my plan is for her um, first picture to be it or like the first picture I posted for her for her to be wearing that outfit but we'll see this little newborn a uh, little like wrap dress kind of thing so it's just got little tortoise shell buttons and then you can tie her in it at the bottom um, I thought that, that would be really cute and comfy for her plus it's a size newborn so obviously I had to bring a kite baby onesie <laughs> so that's what we did I just have this white one um, it's in zero to three size so it might be too big, but we'll see. But 
bringing one of those kite baby has my favorite onesies ever like they're so good so soft so bringing her one of those bringing um a little hat and bows but i will have all these linked on in the description box below but actually one of you guys got me these bows so so cute i'm bringing the white one and the pink one um just because i can never decide on anything i'm very indecisive gotta have options the hospital will have diapers wipes burp cloths all the things so i'm not bringing any of that we're bringing the car seat with us obviously um but we've already installed that but it's back in here in the meantime in case i get you know just in case I'm just gonna say just in case and then as far as my husband Colin's bag I mean I'm assuming he's gonna bring glasses contacts change of outfits um, his computer things like that he's gonna pack his own thing he's responsible for his own thing so yeah if you can think of anything else that you think that I need comment below and if I have the baby before I can get these things then at least you'll be helping somebody else out in the comments and yeah, we are less than two weeks away from the due date. March 13th is right around the corner, which I can't believe. So who knows, she could be early, she could be late, or she could be right on time, which is kind of what we are hoping for. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. And if you are not already, make sure you subscribe. And also, I did mention that we are planning on filming a birth vlog, but the first place that will see her, know her name, know all the things is Instagram. If you are impatient like I am and you want to know all those things, as soon as you can, I would recommend following on Instagram if you're not already. So that's going to be the first place you know that I had her, first place you know that I'm in labor, all the things. So actually, I don't know if I'm going to share if I'm in labor or not, just in case. That's a lot of pressure. I think I might just share after we have her. So anyway, that's on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's right around the corner. I'm ready whenever she is. So if she doesn't come on the 13th, it's fine. Colin and I were both born on the 13th. That's why we want her to come on the 13th, but she's in charge. So whenever she wants to have her birthday is when she'll have her birthday. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.